to another tune of the month. Happy September. Are you ready for a super awesome rockin' tune? Because I have for you a super awesome rockin' tune. In fact, one of my very oldest favorite super awesome rockin' tunes. I learned this tune from a really wonderful fiddler, Amy Brunswick. Um, she taught it to me. We were at a, a fiddle contest up in Barrie, Vermont, as kiddos, actually. And uh, she came to me backstage when we were kind of in between divisions and she said, hey, let's, let's jam. And we did. And she said, uh, hey, do you know this tune? And I didn't. And she said, well, I have to teach it to you right now because I want to play the harmony to this tune so badly and nobody else will play it with me. So she taught it to me and I was so excited about it. Like basically my life stopped right then and entered a whole new chapter because it was so super awesome and rocking. So here's the tune. It's called The Bay of Fundy and it comes out of uh, East Coast Canada and you'll have to see if it is life-changingly super awesome and rocking for you as it was for me. Bay of Fundy. probably noticed the super awesome rocking part comes from the fact that it's not a regular sounding D major tune. In fact, it's modal. And what that means is that rather than having key of D be the one chord and then going to the four chord and five chord like G and A going up, the harmony actually moves down in the scale. It moves down by a whole step. So we have D major and then for a bar we'll suddenly have C major. Oh, it's so cool because the note C doesn't belong in the key of D major. Usually they're C sharps. So just this, this weird step down makes your eyebrows go woo. Uh, modal tunes happen a lot in minor and it's not so noticeable because usually the minor step below um, doesn't change the key signature. But in a major key it does and it's super special. Okay, so that's the theory behind the tune. Let's do the tune. D major, part one. part one, part two, part one ending, you might already almost have this learned. But just in case you're a little bit newer to the system, let me break it down a little bit what's happening. So very, very patterned tune. So it's pretty easy to learn once you've learned the first part one. I have two pickups and then I'm landing here. That's my downbeat. And I'm going to hook three slur. first part. And I'm mostly gluing my first 
first finger down, I'm leaving my first finger there because I don't have to pick it up. arpeggio, use a C major arpeggio with two pickups. Normally it would go Frere Jaca. You'd go up the scale and then skip back down. This is a backwards one. It goes down the scale and then skips back up to where you started. G, down the scale, skip up. F sharp, down the scale, skip back to the F sharp. E, down the scale, and land. And did you notice I'm using the hook three bowing for that too? And a one, two, three, using the hook three pattern. And that's the whole A section. If you're not sure what I mean about this hook three bowing, I have taught it in past tunes of the month. It is my personal favorite bowing pattern. And how it works is when you have a group, a measure of eight eighth notes. Here are my four and my four. My fingers are now eighth notes. You go one, you start it down bow. One, two, three are separate bows. Now these middle three become a slur that goes up bow, and you have the last two down up to get you back to a down bow for the next measure. I call them extra. So I say one, two, three, slur, er, er, extra. And if you use that bowing through this entire tune, it sounds fantastic. Let's put the whole A section together and I'll call that bowing out so you can see how it fits. By the way, the hook three always starts on a downbeat. It does not include the pickup notes. So when I start this, the two pickups, that doesn't count. I start it here. One, two, three. Slur, extra. 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 You got it. Two, Are you ready for it? Here comes the B section. Extra.
That's the whole D major part. And it's gonna stay, it's gonna work really easily, rather, if your first finger stays the whole time. And all you have to do is pick up your third finger. Pick it up, put it back down. Now, I'll also show you the bowing that I'm using here. This is a rocking string crossing bowing. I'm going all down, uh, all separate bows until I get to a down bow on my top note, that melody. Now everybody in the middle, I'm just gonna slur up bow. And that's what gives you kind of that punchy accent on the melody part. Uh, the top note without having to make an ugly accent by yourself. The bowing does it for you. All right, so you got that D major chord. The next chord you're gonna need is a G major chord. So hop your first finger over to your A string. And now you're gonna glue your first finger and your second finger, they all sound like this. And you just have to pick up your third finger. And you do that twice. Now back to D major, the open 3-1 chord. And now a little turnaround. Did you notice I used a hook 3 for that? Here's the turnaround. One, two, three, slur, extra. One more time, turnaround. and you already know the second part. Go back like the beginning to the D major chord with the string crossings. Two times, two times G major. Now here's where the first time through you go back to the D major chord, but the last time you go straight into the ending. but now you have all the pieces. All this thing is is D major, two times, G major two times. Back to D major two times. Turn around. D major two times, like the beginning. G major two times. And now the ending. on those sections of the tunes, just go back and play with the video over and over and over again. That's how I learned it, was having Amy play it through over and over and over and over and over. And I was so excited about it, I just kept playing. And pretty soon people will be following you as you play it through over and over and over to teach it to them. 
If you're one of those people who likes to see uh, printed sheet music for your tunes, if that helps you out, I do have, uh, sometimes I'll dot, jot out my scribbly handwriting version of these tunes, and I'll send it out as a part of my monthly email newsletter. So if you're subscribed to that, you can get the sheet music for this and future tunes of the month right in your inbox. Uh, to subscribe, go to my website, www.mariblack.com, and you can sign up right there. And then I'll look forward to appearing in your inbox every month with more super awesome rockin' new tunes. Until next month, I'll hope you guys are having a great time. Happy fiddling. See you later.